Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best geared tripod head in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these best geared tripod head, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality best geared tripod head according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Manfrotto 410 Junior Geared Head. One of the least expensive geared heads on the market, the 410 Junior is nevertheless very well engineered with an aluminum construction. It has a 6 dim diameter base and weighs in at 1.22, with a maximum load rating of 5 ic. As you'd expect from a geared head, three micrometric knobs enable very precise and fully independent adjustments of front slash back tilt lateral tilt, and 360-degree panning. Furthermore, each knob has a quick-release clutch at its base. This enables you to adjust any of the three movements quickly and easily to get the position in the right ballpark before using the relevant knob for precise final adjustments. A single bubble level is fitted to aid leveling. Moving on to the next at number two with Manfrotto X-Pro 3-Way Geared Head. We are thoroughly impressed with Manfrotto's X-Pro Magnesium Ball Head and X-Pro 3-Way Aluminum Head. This X-Pro geared head is from the same product line, but has a relatively lightweight construction, based on high-grade plastics. Indeed, it's significantly lighter than the Manfrotto 410 Junior and less than half the weight of the 405 geared head. The downsides are that it has a lower forked payload than the other two aluminum geared heads and is a little more prone to flexing. Whereas the other Manfrotto heads feel more rigid. On the plus side, trigger action quick release clamps enable rapid adjustment of all three controls, while the screw action knobs allow for very fine adjustments, complete with three bubble levels. The number three position is held by Benro G D3WH geared head. This geared head from Benro has a practically identical weight to Manfrotto's Plastic X Pro geared head. But the Benro is made from magnesium alloy and has a 50% greater maximum load rating of 6. It also feels more solid in use and less prone to flexing when attaching a camera via the quick release plate. The plate itself is industry standard Arca Swiss type, rather than the proprietary plates of the competing Manfrotto geared heads. The gear drive knobs for front slash back tilt, lateral tilt, and panning all feel very tactile and operate with smooth precision. While disengage wheels for each of them enable quick large range adjustments. Three bubble levels are featured to aid leveling and the overall performance and build quality are exceptional, given the modest selling price. Next at number 4 we have Manfrotto 405 Geared Head. Weighing in at 1.6, this geared head is 380 heavier than Manfrotto's 410 Junior. Both have the same base diameter of 6 dim and the same 410 PL quick release plate but the 405 bumps up the maximum load rating from 5IC to 7.5IC, making it more suitable for heavy camera and lens combinations. It also has three bubble levels rather than just one. Again, quick and easy disengagement of the gears is available, this time via rubberized twist rings, which are mounted just in front of the main control knobs. The control knobs themselves offer marginally greater precision than those of the 410 Junior, with a lower gearing that equates to 6.55 degrees per full turn rather than 7.2 degrees, at about twice the price to buy. However, the 405 is considerably more expensive. The number 5 position is held by Manfrotto 400 Studio Geared Head. Built primarily for studio use, this is a real heavyweight of a geared head, tipping the scales at 3. It also has a particularly hefty maximum payload of tech, particularly ideal for mounting on a studio column. The head has two knobs with fold-out crank handles to control front slash back tilt and panning. There's also a longer protruding knob to control lateral tilt. However, with a comparatively limited range of adjustment at just plus slash 7.5 degrees. Again, this is more in keeping with studio shooting than being out and about. The head features a bubble level and comes with three quick-release plates of different heights. This is to ensure sufficient clearance between any camera and the rear crank handle. It's a beast of a head in terms of size and weight, but is particularly solid and robust. The number six position is dominated by Arca Swiss D4 geared tripod head. If there is only a tripod geared head to consider to use the best one, 
The Arca Swiss D4 can be that one. This tripod makes it so easy to take pictures that you forget to go back to cheaper options. This black Arca Swiss D4 geared head has been wonderfully designed to finally and accurately compose an image with your camera. Its precise adjustments appeal to landscaping, architectural, portrait, and macro photographers. Other knobs also let you have free movements and come in handy for composing at odd angles. All of the knob's rubbery coating allows you to adjust them without any fuss as well. The Arca Swiss plate is very firm, and there is no chance that the camera will be in danger. Besides, there are multiple bubble levels built into the head as well. Finally, the number 7 position is dominated by Manfrotto MHX Pro 3WG geared head. This three-way tripod head has been designed for precision adjustments. Made up of matte black technopolymer, it is relatively lighter in weight than many other competitors. There are also rubber coating knobs on it for an extra smooth grip. The Manfrotto MHX Pro weighs only 750 gram, which is actually very light, and it doesn't even sacrifice the payload to a single bit. Even if the tripod is big, the weight of the head itself lessens the fatigue of carrying for a longer period. It doesn't add almost anything to your overall carrying weight. This three-way gear that also features an integrated RC2 quick-release cam lock that can be removed just by pulling the spring-loaded lever. This also allows the plate to be quickly attached. The pan knob also allows 360-degree movement with seamless motion. You'll not notice any clicks there. The lateral tilt will allow for twin tight to the right and a solid 9 tight to the left. And the vertical tilt allows twin tight upward tilt and 9 tight down, just like a lateral. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.